surveys show that more than 80% of students report this being their favorite way of study is just rereading a chapter again. And we think the reason that is, is because when you reread a chapter again, because you've already read it once, it seems very fluent to you. And it creates this sort of illusion, I'm getting this, I understand it, oh, this is easy. Uh, but in fact, that fluency is misleading and can create an illusion that you are learning and that you're understanding when in fact it's largely drawn, uh, driven by low level sort of perceptual priming. These are words you've seen before, you've seen them in this order, and now they seem to make sense to you uh, even though maybe they are not really. It's just because of that fluent, you're being tricked by that feeling of fluency. Instead, what's much better than just representing information to yourself for studying it is to try to test yourself on that information. Testing will reveal that you don't know things as well as you did. Perhaps it will also modify your representation of that information in your memory, making it more recallable in the future. And this just happens automatically when you retrieve information from memory, you, it's going to be more recallable in the future than it would have been otherwise. And it's also going to be much more recallable in the future following a successful retrieval than just representing that information to yourself and studying it again. Now, I've said the word retrieval several times, um, and that's the important part. That's what the tests activate the retrieval process, and it's that retrieval process that enhances our later, uh, the memory representation of that information and makes it more recallable in the future.